Barrel leg jeans are such a fantastic contemporary style, but they are quite voluminous. I love saying that word, voluminous. <laughs> so it's worth paying attention to how we style them. And for me in particular, as somebody with short legs and as a petite, I'm only five foot two, then I have to be particularly careful with this style in my opinion, because they do tend to make my legs look short. So today I thought I would share my tips and tricks that I am using to get the most out of my bar leg jeans and to basically avoid them making me look like a leprechaun. Not that there's anything wrong with leprechauns, but let's face it, they're not known for their style. <laughs> so yes, this video is all about how to make these jeans work for you in the most flattering way possible especially if you are petite like me. I particularly love the last outfit in this video because it kind of fulfills some of my new style intentions for 2024, which is to add some edginess and unexpectedness into my outfits. And I think this outfit really nails it. So I'm very excited to show you that. There are two particular things to pay attention to when it comes to barrel leg jeans, I find. And number one is the rise. So I would always go for a high rise in a barrel leg jean. And these are high rise, as you can see. And I do that because it lengthens my overall leg. And as I explained in the beginning, I do need that kind of help to balance out my proportions. The barrel leg jeans I'm styling today are from River Island. They are very affordable, have really good fabric composition, 99% cotton, 1% elastane, and they are high rise jean. The second thing I paid particular attention to is my footwear. So to demonstrate these two things, let's look at some outfits. First outfit I want to show you is a classic staple made up out of pieces I absolutely love, like this Cezanne Martin sweater. I've had this one in my wardrobe for, I think about two and a half years now, and it still looks like new. It's held up extremely well. And this is a slim line sweater, which is really good for balancing out the extra fabric on my bottom half. I've tucked the sweater into the jeans all the way around because again, I want to highlight my waist. It helps lengthen my leg and therefore lengthen my overall silhouette. And it's just more flattering for my particular body type. Keeping in the classic theme, I've used my Etsy two-tone pumps here. They show my skin, which is a really nice juxtaposition and helps balance out the shape of the jean. And they have a heel, which of course is always useful for me as well. I actually find it more comfortable to use heels. I don't know if any of you find that as well, but I find when I wear a true flat, I feel like I'm almost being catapulted backwards. <laughs> it's so strange. Flats really don't feel comfortable to me. I always need a small heel. And these two-tone pumps have the perfect heel height for me. I can and have walked all day in these and because they are genuine leather, they're very, very comfortable to walk in. And I really like how the classic shoe balances the kind of more modern grunge of the jean. Because the outfit is on the more classic side, I want to add a little bit of edge with these round sunglasses. These are very old at this stage and pink, as you can see, and they balance out the classic elements of the striped sweater and the shoes very nicely. I'll add a bag and this look is finished. As usual, I will link as many pieces as I can in the description box. So if you're interested in any of the particular items I'm showing you today, then check out the extra information down there for you. Now, when it comes to bar leg jeans, I do tend to avoid round toe or chunky shoes on my bottom half because there is just too much going on um, if I do that. So I would tend to avoid any chunky sneakers, for example, um, I wouldn't wear my platform Converse with these because I don't think the effect is really quite flattering um, or what I'm after. I would swap these out for something like my two-tone pumps as you saw before, or these lovely slim minimal sandals from Arquette. Again, showing some skin and showing the ankle in particular is a really good way of balancing out the proportions of these jeans. I've added a belt. This one is from Isabel Morant and I absolutely love the knot design with zero hardware and added a white silk shirt. This one's from Everlane and it's been a staple in my wardrobe ever since I added it three years ago. It was one of the first things I added to my wardrobe when I threw everything out of my closet and started over from scratch. I'm so, so glad I added it because it is such a versatile piece. And I'll finish off this look with some sunglasses and a bag and I'm ready to go. 
I said a moment ago that I would tend to avoid round-toed chunky boots with this style, but I will show you an example here that I think does actually work. So I'm taking these very chunky boots from Shu. These are my favorite winter boots. And because these boots have a long, very slender ankle hugging shaft, that works then to balance out the jeans because you have that slim proportion at the very end of the leg, which just helps to balance out the jeans. In my case, I would turn up the jeans just to add a little bit more emphasis on the ankle. I wouldn't allow them to go full length. As you can see, these jeans are, have actually got a raw hem, so I might actually take a scissors to these and shorten them up just a little bit. I think that would suit my frame a little bit better. I have a 26 inch inseam, by the way, so very short. Um, and I think these jeans could do with a little bit of tailoring. I did get them in the regular length, so they're not very long. Um, they are designed to sit kind of at or above the ankle. And I think with these particular boots, above the ankle would look best. To balance out the black on the bottom of the outfit, I've deployed the typical sandwich dressing technique and added black to my top half as well, using this turtleneck from Oasis. A black turtleneck in winter is just so, so useful, I find. Now to add a little bit more interest to this outfit, I'm going to layer over my Cezanne Leontine sweater over the shoulders. And I'm going to finish off the look with sunglasses, which I wear winter and summer, and a bag. I want to try out these jeans with a slim heel because the elegance of these slingback heels juxtapose in a really interesting way with the more grungy jean. I'm adding my white silk shirt again, polishing off the outfit with a beautiful silk scarf around the neck and finishing off the whole look with sunglasses and my clutch bag from Totem. Now, I do think a slim line sneaker would go very well with these jeans. Um, so something like the Adidas Samba, for example. It is a low profile sneaker. It shows the ankle really well and it's not a chunky shoe. So for all of those reasons, I think it would work. But on me, um, because my legs are so short, I really don't feel like it works as well as I want it to. So I am going to swap out my Adidas sneakers for a pointed toe heeled boot. It's something I just feel more comfortable in anyway. I'm going to add my Cos Marina wool turtleneck to this outfit because it's such a great layering piece for winter and it is thermoregulating, so very, very comfortable on. I'm going to drape my lovely striped Leontine sweater over my shoulders again. It always works as an extra layer, as a interesting addition to an outfit. I just find it works on so many levels. And the material is organic cotton, which is very, very kind to my skin. I'll finish off the look with my totem bag again and my sunglasses and that is it. If you're enjoying this video so far, remember to give it a thumbs up because it helps other people find the video. And if you haven't subscribed already, do consider joining our rapidly growing community. We'd be thrilled to have you. On to the final look and I absolutely love this one because it's so simple but it does have a little bit of edge. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm starting off with this t-shirt. It's in a really beautiful bright blue shade. And this particular t-shirt is from a brand called Urban Classics that I got from Amazon. Whenever I wear it, I always get compliments on the color. And I think it's because this particular color type works so well on a kind of cool winter type of person like myself with my pale skin and my dark hair. This particular blue just does work very well. And I love how the bright blue harmonizes with the more muted blue of the jeans. For footwear, I'm adding these silver Mary Janes. Again, they have a heel which helps lengthen my overall proportions. Again, I would probably turn up the jeans in this particular instance because I do want to see more of my ankle. And I think this particular jean style works so, so well with Mary Janes, whether they're flat or heeled. For added warmth, I'm adding this cardigan from Cezanne. This is a cardigan from one of their limited edition collections about a year and a half ago now. And like all Cezanne pieces, it has some really pleasing details that just make it very unique and elevated. Like this particular cardigan has a plait detail on both of the shoulder seams, which is very feminine and very pleasing. The cardigan itself, while having puff sleeves, does hug the torso and the body quite closely, which again makes it something really good to wear with these particular jeans. 
the cardigan is cropped so it will show off the fact that the jeans are high-waisted which again will lengthen my legs so that works really well and I'm going to finish off the look with some sunglasses again of course and this beautiful silver bag from Oleada. As always talk to me I absolutely love to hear from you. Do you have a pair of barrel leg jeans and if so how are you styling yours? Let me know in the comments. I style these and many more items on Instagram so follow me over there if you would like to see more content. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.